County, six to nothing after one period of play. And the Pioneers will have the football deep in their own territory at about the 12-yard line. John, I don't know about uh, the sideline, but uh, the crowd seems to be awfully quiet tonight. How about the Blue Devils? Well, Tommy, their emotions are um, a little high after that scoring drive there, but uh, still it's kind of, uh, everybody's just kind of hanging out, looks like. You know, not a whole lot of motion showing yet. You know, J Jason took some shots on that drive. Every pass he threw, even the touchdown pass, he took some shots, and he said, uh, talked to him on the sideline, and he, one of the shots got up under some pads on him, so he's got, uh, you know, a little sore ribs right now, so uh, we'll see what happens here. First and ten for the Pioneers, Elrod will bring his team out in an eye, gives it to Officer Straight Give, and he goes nowhere as he has stood up at the line of scrimmage and then pushed back by the middle of the line as Scott Gann holds on to him, Tommy. And Dwight, if you can get a picture of the Lebanon sideline, Coach Dillard, who coaches offensive line, and Bob Dillard, our head coach, holding court with that offensive unit. And they're apparently talking about some blocking schemes, trying to get some better protection for the quarterback, Jason Reeder. Second down and 10 for the Pioneers. Receivers left and right for Elrod C sneaking up. As the Blue Devils in tight coverage, straight drop by Elrod, wants the throw completed out on the near side up to the 19 yard line. With the completion is Devin Mason. Andy Bowles returns at nose man for Lebanon on this possession. Bowles getting some work back at the nose spot and playing at the left tackle position is Scotty Gann. So Chris Fryer, who coaches down Lyman for Lebanon, doing some shuffling from the press box here with his personnel. Bowles, Gann, and all. That's your down three linemen for the Blue Devils. Third down and a long two for the Pioneers. High formation behind Elrod. Quick snap. He's got a blitz coming. Wants to set a screen. Overthrows and almost intercepted by Gannon as it will be fourth down and three for the Pioneers. And Bowles gave Elrod a shot as he was trying to throw the football. So turnabout fair play as Lebanon puts a helmet on the Warren County quarterback. Tressler will go deep to return for Lebanon and kicking it away for Warren County, Mr. Everything, Ryan Smith. Stap to Smith. As he gets off a nice punt, Tressler takes it at the 49, reverses oh, his field up to the 45 and the 44 yard line. That's where the Blue Devils will go on offense, first and 10. Folks, <laughs> Ryan Alds just hammered Warren County's Brent Jacobs. He caught him coming blind across on punt coverage and all to peel back and just nailed him. That oomph you heard from the crowd was indicative of that shot. Terry, what about the kick and the return? Time of the kick by Smith, 29 yards. The return by Tressler just inside the, Le uh, the Warren County 45. And that's where Lebanon to take over. Griffin is a wide receiver on the left side. As Reeder will look over that six-man line Straight drop, wants the throw, looks for Griffin, pumps, man at his feet, now calling for it. He lets it go, and he is hit as he tries to throw the ball by Russ Lytle, and the pass will fall incomplete. Tommy, that's one that could have been picked off. Well, we're trying our best to get the football to Griffin, and Reeder has just taken a beating tonight. Warren County's getting penetration like nobody has gotten against us, and in weeks and uh, reader to his credit escaped one tackler and tried to half roll and wave griffin a little bit deeper he was not able to get anything on the pass as, as they just nailed him stafford the tailback in the eye formation now replacing sellers as movement on the right side will bring the ball back five yards for the blue devils look like they caught carson moving just prior to the snap Chris Stafford back at tailback for Lebanon. Chris missed the entire second half of the Gallatin game last week with a slight concussion. He got hurt running a sweep play, went head to head with a Gallatin defender, and uh, Chris saw some stars, did not play the second half. He's Lebanon's second leading ball carrier so far this year with 347 yards. He's scored three touchdowns, and you might remember from last week, had a really nice kickoff return for big yardage. So second down and 15 for the Blue Devils. 
Receivers left and right for Reader. Straight drop. Now Rolls wants to throw and set the screen to Stafford, who catches the ball back at the 45, and will go down at the 11 and 48 for a loss of two. Well, trying to do some things to offset that rush, to let the rush come in and, and throw the screen pass over, but Warren County smelled that out. And uh, give the Pioneer defense some credit. They're coming off a game last week where they held Mount Juliet to 10 points, to 12 points, excuse me, to two touchdowns. And Mount Juliet's had some success here in the last three or four weeks moving the football. So third down and 17 for the Blue Devils. Sellers back in at tailback. As Reeder will turn, just give it to Sellers straight up the middle. Has some room down to the 45 and back to the original line of scrimmage. But he's well short of the first down, and it will bring up a punting situation for the Blue Devils as Tressler will come in. And Coach Dillard talking it over with his kicking team, and Tressler will not go on the field. So Lebanon apparently going to go for it here. If, if not, maybe try to draw them off sides. It will be fourth and ten for the Blue Devils. Cherry to the right side, Jeff Clemens. Split to the left, Carson on the near side is a tight end. Reader trying to draw the defense offside. And now penalty flag, too much time. And that'll back the Blue Devils up five. So trying to cut that down in distance, cut the distance in half as uh, the attempt to draw Warren County offsides didn't work. Warren County had backed those linemen off the line of scrimmage a little bit. And that gave them some cushion when they did move, when they anticipated the snap count. So Lebanon backs it up five yards, and Tressler comes back in to punt. Devin Mason, number 44, goes into punt formation, goes into return formation for the Pioneers. Now Grissom will drop back to punt. Tressler will become the up back. Snap to Grissom. Here comes the rush, wobbly punt down the right side, not a lot of distance. Will bounce at the 30 and go out just shy of the 28-yard line, so the Pioneers, Tommy, will have good field position. And Lewis Payton fielding that one on the bounce on the Lebanon sideline. Terry, no return on that one by Lewis, but uh, what about the kick? <laughs> the kick by Bo from the 50 goes out of bounds at the 28. 22-yard punt by Grissom, no return yardage by Payton. Eight minutes, 22 seconds remaining in the first half. The Blue Devils on top of the Warren County Pioneers, six to nothing, as Reeder connected with Jeff Clemens for the touchdown. Elrod will come out of the huddle with his team in the eye formation. Officer the tailback, Cantrell, is your fullback. He will second man through. Officer on the right side, and he ran into a buzzsaw, Tommy and Scotty Gann. Gann waiting for him. They ran... The kind of counter action, fake the fullback one way and come back with a tailback. And Scotty stayed at home and met Officer with open arms. He couldn't get any kind of running room, and so they'll back that up. A loss of four on the play, back to the 25-yard line. So second down and 14 for the Pioneers and their quarterback, Elrod, a senior, 5'11", 175. Second and 14, four-man line for the Blue Devils. Elrod looks it over, straight drop, wants to throw, pumps once. Now he's got some people chasing him. He will get back to the original line of scrimmage and out to the 33, almost the 34-yard line. As again, Tommy Scott again on the tackle. Elrod's a good athlete, Sam. He's, he's elusive. He's, he's just quick enough to give the defense some trouble when he decides to pull the football down and try to make something out of out of a bad play. Our secondary is doing a good job of coverage, not giving those receivers much cushion, and uh, that's allowing Elrod to just pull that football down and try to get what he can do. Third down and six for the Pioneers. Straight drop by Elrod. Throws quickly. High pass over the hands of Devon Mason and out of bounds. So it will be fourth down and six for the Pioneers, and they will have to be on foot. So it's been back and forth in the kicking game. Smith deep to kick it away for Warren County. And Tressler once again to return for the Blue Devils. Ron C. as the short man. Snap to Smith. Low. He drops it. 
now tries to block it does the Blue Devils. It will roll dead at about the 42 yard line as Trey Reynolds, Tommy, had a shot at it, just barely missed blocking it. The football looked like it went under Trey Reynolds. John, did you get a look at that? It looked like Trey jumped and the ball went under him. He had pursued far enough, but just didn't get it. I, I, I don't see how he missed it. He might have went ahead and just uh, waylaid the punter back there, Tommy. He had plenty of time. He went for the uh, ball, and I don't know how it got out from there. First and 10 for the Blue Devils. Six and a half minutes remaining here in the first half. Cherry to the right, Clemens to the left. Sellers, your tailback. Reader's just going to take it straight up the middle, Tommy. He picks up eight on that quarterback draw, and I guess he was tired of getting hit in the backfield. Well, the quarterback sneak, quarterback draw is a good football play against the wide tackle, especially when they're looping those linebackers to the outside. Nobody's taking that inside gap. All Jody's got to do is snap the football, take a side, and Reader can step in behind him for a good gain, and maybe that'll slow down some of that Warren County pursuit. He picks up eight, second and two. As Reader will look over the defense, showing blitz. Now they'll drop back, quick throw. Looks for Clemens on the left side, almost intercepted as Clemens lost his footing. And out there on defense with him. Well, good question. Looks like Chris Burton, who'd uh, gone into the football game at a corner, for Warren County. They ran the fade route to Clemens. Clemens, a guy who has not gotten the football much this year for Lebanon and uh, trying to open it up a little bit and maybe get some different personnel involved in this offense and uh, very nearly that football was almost intercepted. Third and two for the Blue Devils. Reader turns, quick drop, wants to throw again, has Cherry incomplete as he throws it behind him. So a second and short ends up being fourth and short for the Blue Devils and the offense looking at the coaching staff saying that we want to go for it. And it looks like what we're going to do. Brooks Cherry checks in with the play from Bob Dillard and Lebanon going to go fourth and short about two yards, five minutes and 44 seconds to go in the first half. Blue Devils leading six nothing. Clemens to the left, Cherry to the right, Carson the tight end on the right side as the linebackers want to blitz up the middle for the Pioneers. Reader will now call timeout as he tries to draw the defense offside. We'll take a timeout as well, and we'll be back with more Lebanon football in just a moment. Hi, my name is Jill Montgomery, a sophomore varsity football cheerleader at Lebanon High School. We're here at KLS with Mr. Jim Scullery. We'd like to say thank you for your support and present you with some Blue Devil seven years. Thank you. The Kenneth O. Lester Company is proud to support the Lebanon High School football program. L-A-S! Back at Noakes Lassiter Field, 544 to go in the first half. And, you know, folks, we only have to think back 365 days to last year when we let Warren County hang around and hang around. We led 13 to nothing at the half and then fumbled three times in the second half. And these birds took us into overtime last year. We were in for a heck of a fight. Um, you're caught kind of betwixt and between Gallatin and Riverdale on the schedule. And Warren County putting up a heck of a fight. Lebanon going to go for it fourth and two. As Tommy told you, fourth down, Reader looks over the defense. Warren County sneaking up. Toss sweep Sellers right side, puts his head down. I don't think he got it, Tommy. He looks like he's a half a step short. Tried to run it more off tackle than outside, and he's going to be short. They're not even going to have to bring the sticks out. Jade could not move that pile, and Warren County is going to take over on downs. Terry, our offense, uh, we have not moved the football on the ground. What we've got, we've got through the air. Tom, you're right. Jason Reeder is 6 of 9 through the air for 89 yards. We've rushed the ball 10 times for only 17 yards. So it will be first and 10 for the Pioneers. Five and a half minutes remaining in the first half. The ball at their own 48-yard line. Eye formation behind Elrod. Toss sweep officer right side. He cuts it back up, gets to the line of scrimmage, and will go no further as Gannon on the tackle. Sellers and Morse. In there as well, down at the bottom of the pile is Andy Bowles. So officers not having any more success running the football than, than our people have had. I think it's just going to be a question.